In this video we're going to look at how to add toolpath and post code using Bobcat. So first I'll see over here is our cam tree. And then we're going to use milling stock for this example. Now to access all of the toolpaths, you can simply right click milling stock. And then you get drilling, two access milling, and three access milling. These are all of the available toolpaths. Let's go to profiling. So we'll choose mill two access profiling. This will load a feature profile below the milling stock, and then a few items that are below feature profile. First is its geometry, then the name of the toolpath or type of toolpath, and then the actual tools below. So the next step now, after we've loaded the toolpath, is to right click geometry and choose reselect, and then pick which geometry we're going to use with this profile. In this case, I'll use this shape then right click and left click OK. You'll notice that the little red dot that was next to geometry just disappeared. Once something is selected, if we click on geometry it then shows the highlight of what's been selected. The next step is right below geometry we have the toolpath. We'll right click profile and go to edit. Then we need to fill out all of the settings for this toolpath. We have here an approach and entry, patterns, in this case I'm going to do a left offset, our parameters are depth of cut, our leads, corner types, posting, which work offset to use and what rotary angle, our tool size, and last we're not using a finish tool so it's set to zero. Choose OK and then come over to the toolpath name, right click and compute the toolpath. The toolpath should then generate on the screen. The same is true for other toolpaths. Let's say we're going to pocket the circle. We come over to milling stock, right click, we'll go to mill to access, then pocketing. Then below feature pocket, we have geometry and an optional start point. Notice the red dot next to geometry. We'll right click, select, we'll pick the shape, then right click and left click OK. Notice the red dot goes away shows that something's been selected. We'll now right click pocket, go to edit, and then follow all of these all the way through setting up the cut however we want it to work. We'll then choose OK, right click the toolpath name, and compute. So now we have a pocket. Now these top levels, like where it says feature profile and feature pocket, these can be named so that you know what they are when you come back to them. So that we call this outside cut. And we'll just call this one pocket. Now you can do a soft double click. Click once, then click again to type inside the field. Once you have toolpath on the screen, it's pretty simple to post out to send to the machine. Up here is cam part. Under there you have milling tools. Now we can see below milling stock that we have selected a Haas VF mill post. If you want to change this, you can right click, go to edit, and then select which post processor to use. Once you've done that, you can come up to milling tools. When you right click on milling tools, you get a couple options. You can recompute all your toolpaths, you can post, or you can post and save. And then you get verify tool assignment where you can change your tool numbers. But if we just post, it just generates a preview of the code that's going to be sent to the machine. When you right click milling tools, you can go to post and save as, which then gives you a chance to save the code somewhere on your computer. Let's go ahead and call this sample 2. Now the save as type is going to be the file extension that goes onto the code. If you have not set this up, you can choose all files and then manually type on the file extension. I'll use a .tap file. 